It was called the bullet train because it was rounded in front, but every time it went into a tunnel, it would build up a pressure wave, and then it would create like a sonic boom when it exited. So the engineer's boss said, find a way to quiet this train. What if we do this? Quieted the train, made it go 10% faster on 15% less electricity. Life has been around for 3.8 billion years, and if we're gonna have any hope of surviving, we have to look to the natural world. These are the consummate engineers, chemists, physicists, you know, of our planet, the aviators of our planet, you know, the sailors of our planet. They, they're, they've done everything that we want to do. Leonardo da Vinci was one of your earliest biomimics. I mean, he had been looking to nature for a lot of his innovations and designs. Isn't this what designers and architects and engineers start with? Don't they say to themselves, you know, what in the natural world has already done what it is I'm trying to do? Instead of flipping through magazines like they do now to look for ideas, they walk outside. The wellsprings of good ideas are these habitats. What if we thought about our buildings as extensions of our physiology? There is a seven-story office building in Harare that is based on the termite mound. It has no air conditioning in it, and yet it stays cool. Seeing nature as a teacher is very different than seeing nature as a warehouse of goods. The lotus leaf, the symbol of purity in Asia, and it's a symbol of purity because as it comes up through the, the mud and the muck, it's pristine, it's dry, it's clean. How is this leaf that has to photosynthesize, comes up through the mud, staying clean? This nano rough structure, and the bumps are a certain distance apart, then it's waxy. What happens is that water balls up on the mountaintop, rolls off, picks up the loose dirt particles, and it cleans the leaf. Degasa makes a cement that's self-cleaning. When it dries, it has this rough structure and rainwater can clean it. Many people are making uh, lotus effect fabrics that you can clean with water, no detergents needed. If we want to sustain life, we have to understand and appreciate that all of human life is entirely dependent on nature. I think the concept of looking to the natural world for inspiration will become second nature again.